what are Kansas's chances of repeating? Because they're in a tough, tough West region that's absolutely loaded. I mean, just if you don't have your bracket in front of you. I mean, no, Kansas, yeah. Kansas has UCLA in their region. They got Gonzaga, Arkansas, UConn, Illinois, St. Mary's, VCU, TCU. Um, Northwestern is no team to sneeze at. Like, this is a very, very tough region, which I kind of like for a defending champion. I think it should be tough. You should have the hardest region um, to go through. And even, even Iona, like, Rick Pitino is coaching for a possible Power 5 job this tournament. And depending on how this tournament goes, he could be flooded with offers. So, Rick Pitino's I think he's going to be flooded no matter what. I think there's going to be teams so desperate. Arkansas and Illinois, both of them are walking the park. You know, they're they're both play an intense kind of very physical version of basketball. They can easily give problems. Not to mention, who knows what Bill Self's condition is? He missed the entire Big Twelve tournament being sick. So who knows what how healthy he's going to be and come back? I think Kansas on their day can beat anybody in the anybody in the country and can easily run this table. But just like in 2018 when North Carolina was doing the same thing, like they lost in the second round in a slip up against um A&M that no yeah. one saw coming and I think depending on wh- whichever one of those that Arkansas whoever survives that Arkansas Illinois game, I think they can easily. I mean, we saw it last year. Arkansas Knock the presumptive favorite in Gonzaga out. Send them home packing early. The year before that, they they probably were the only team that gave the eventual national championship Baylor the only one who gave them a, an actual run for their money. So, like, Musselman knows how to play the underdog role. They don't even deserve to be in the tournament, let alone – but that that's another thing. But they're one of, like, six teams that got in over teams that shouldn't have been in. But now that they're in, who knows? You just uh, you never Musselman is the is Eric Musselman is is a notorious like he just knows how to get the best out of very little, and he will pump that team up so goddamn much to be like no one gives you a chance. That's an eight in the champ. They're gonna think they're like they're gonna walk all over you. Blah blah blah. Next thing you know, Arkansas wins by twenty, and like Kansas is just going home. Not to mention. Let's not forget this too. Outside of his two national championships, he hasn't exactly covered himself in glory. Like he's lost a lot of times in the NCAA tournament as the higher seed, a lot, including back in like 09 and 10 when they were the number one presumptive favorites and they got absolutely railroaded out of there by a couple teams. The one time by Northern Iowa. And I forget who they lost to in 2010, but you know what I mean? Like they, they lost quite a few times to teams that they should have, you know, beaten and taken, you know, taken to the, you know, the woodshed and they got taken to the woodshed themselves. 